Welcome to the U.S. Military Summary, the YouTube channel where we bring you the latest news, analysis, and insights on defensive technology and military developments. In today's episode, we'll be diving into an excited comparison between two powerful artillery systems, the American M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, and the Russian Tornado S Multiple Launch Rocket System. Both systems have proven their capabilities on the battlefield, but which one comes out on top? Let's find out. The U.S. government recently announced a new $400 million arms deal to help Ukraine in light of ongoing attacks from Russia on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. This deal includes the advanced NASAMS air defense system as well as the key component of Ukraine's offense, the high-mobility artillery rocket system, HIMARS. During a visit to the town of Kirsten after Ukrainian troops regained control, the Ukrainian president expressed gratitude for the U.S. for providing the HIMARS system and credit it with playing a significant role in the liberation of Kirsten. HIMARS, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, is compatible with various precision munitions with ranges from 9 miles to 310 miles. This includes the complete multiple launch rocket system, MLRS munition site, such as the extended range guided MLRS, precision strike missile, PRSM, and army tactical missile system, ATACMS. The standard guided MLRS has a range of 43 miles, but a new extended range variant can reach twice that distance. The Army Tactical Missile System, which has a larger diameter, has a maximum range of 186 miles. The upcoming Precision Strike Missile, set to be available in 2023, is lighter and has a maximum range of 310 miles. HIMARS has a wheeled chassis instead of tracks which allows for a shoot-and-scoot capability, enabling soldiers, marines, and allied forces to fire and quickly relocate to a new position. The unpredictable nature on the battlefield requires adaptability, and HIMARS excels in this regard due to its lightweight design, making it easy to transport. It can even be deployed from large aircraft like the C-130, allowing for quick action in remote and challenging environments. Therefore, HIMARS can provide artillery firepower in important regional locations needed by Ukraine. HIMARS has been proven to be effective and reliable throughout participation in joint military exercises like Valiant Shield and Northern Edge in 2021. It was also demonstrated during the U.S. Army's Project Convergence when the PRSM was launched at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. With over 1.9 million operating hours, HIMARS also has a proven track record of combat reliability, equivalent to over 200 years of operating time. This makes HIMARS a cost-effective solution for land forces. Overall, HIMARS dependability is undeniable, and its modular base, which can handle future pod variants, ensures its durability. HIMARS launchers with enhanced range are expected to let the Army target enemy units further beyond the front lines. However, Russia is deploying and ramping up production of its own MLRS, the Tornado S, to counter the HIMARS. According to a report from the U.S. Congress, Russian forces have been attempting to adapt to Ukraine's effective resistance since March 2022. This has resulted in improvements in their military operations such as improved unit coordination and a greater emphasis on operating as a combined arms formation, more air support, and a significant increase in artillery and rocket artillery fire. The Tornado S, similar to the American HIMARS, is a multiple launch rocket system used to hit targets at extended ranges and within enemy territory. So between the American HIMARS and the Russian Tornado S, which one is more superior? The Tornado S is a significant improvement of the Soviet-made BM-30 Smirch multiple rocket launcher introduced to the Russian military in 1987. It is built on a Russian MZKT MAZ-543 8x8 truck with the rocket launcher station positioned at the back of the chassis and consists of 12 tubes. The system contains a rocket launcher vehicle as well as a replenishment vehicle for more ammunition. 
The Tornado S has a satellite-guided firing system, with the antenna on the roof of the launch cabin behind the driver's cab. It can launch guided and unguided rockets, such as the 9M544 and 9M549, as well as unguided rockets like the 9M55K series and 9M52X series. The new Tornado S offers improved capabilities as a precision weapon with the use of guided rockets, increasing firing range and improving accuracy by up to 15 times. The weapon has a greater maximum range of 74.5 miles and can impact an area larger than 60 hectares by assigning different flight paths to each shell. In addition, the system can fire individual rockets or launch a barrage from its 12 tubes to several targets while moving the launcher vehicle. It is aimed to target enemy personnel, military equipment, both stationary and mobile targets, and multiple targets. Some argue that the M142 HIMARS is deemed to be inferior in functionality compared to the Tornado S. This is mainly because the M142 HIMARS for example, can launch six GPS-guided 227mm rockets with a range of 49.7 miles and a precision of 5 to 11 yards. In contrast, the Russian 9M54 Tornado S system can launch 12 300mm Glonis guided rockets with a 74.5 mile range and precision equivalent to HIMARS. Furthermore, the Tornado S has a three-minute launch ready time, making it faster and more efficient. It has also improved its payloads. During the Donbass conflict and the 2022 invasion of Ukraine, the Russian military used Tornado S systems. These devices provide Russia the same edge as HIMARS does for Ukraine. By utilizing Tornado S, Russia could compel Ukraine to transfer its ammunition storage far to the rear, exposing its supply lines. Similar to what occurred in Russia when it was at the mercy of Kiev, According to Indian Air Force veteran and military expert VJ, the location of Tornado S with a range of 74.5 miles along the left bank of the Dnieper River makes attacking Russian supply lines from Crimea on the right bank impossible for HIMARS with a range of 62 miles. Russia currently lacks an adequate artillery range to engage HIMARS after it is launched, and sending aircraft is ineffective because HIMARS swiftly vanishes after shooting. However, because the Tornado S is in place, it can respond immediately. Although the Russian Tornado S might seem to be an equal match, the US-made M142 HIMARS system has impacted Russia's progress and has become the preferred weapon on NATO's eastern flank. The HIMARS supplied to Ukraine by the US have become a symbol of Russia's insecurity. According to reports, Ukraine was able to damage Russian ammunition storage, command centers, and air defenses using just eight HIMARS launchers, each equipped with six tubes armed with regular GMLRS or guided multiple launch rocket system rockets with a range of 50 to 75 miles. Konstantinos Grivas, an expert in advanced weapon systems at the Hellenic Army Academy, stated that HIMARS and GMLRS provide exceptional strike precision. The systems were created to act as a type of sniper artillery for use in challenging environments like in Fallujah, Iraq, where accurate targeting is crucial due to the presence of civilians. The reason for the HIMARS rocket's accuracy lies in their internal navigation system, consisting of accelerometers and gyroscopes, which determines the rocket's exact position relative to the target leading to a precision of 10 to 16 feet at maximum range. The intelligence network that supplies coordinates to the operator is also crucial, and U.S. Army officials have revealed that they have shared this intelligence with Ukraine. The system is highly cost-efficient, as individual GMLRS rockets cost around $100,000, while the S-300 anti-air batteries and ammunition depots that have been destroyed in Ukraine are worth millions of dollars. Additionally, the psychological impact on Russian soldiers knowing that they can be targeted from behind the line of contact is immeasurable. In the near future, as reported by Al Jazeera, the U.S. military will deploy more improved versions of the HIMARS launched rocket known as the Precision Strike Missile PRSM, with a range of 310 miles. If this capacity is made available to regional allies, they will be able to attack targets near Moscow. 
So, which do you believe is stronger? The American High Mars or the Russian Tornado S? You decide. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you again.